Good morning, Brian with Grand Riffing. As you can see, we're in a slight different scene here. I'm not up on a roof, but it's, uh, we're going to shoot something a little bit different for you guys, get in some different content. Part of running a, a successful, profitable company is being concerned and aware of your outflow. So with that being said, let me back up. I was doing a repair, which is what we're getting set up on to, today to do, is do some repair work. Um, my pneumatics broke down on me. And speaking of pneumatics, I mean, a lot of people hate them, and they want to just hand drive everything. Well, I did a video talking about that. You probably watch it tonight. Maybe let's go out on Saturday. But the tools need to be used in a manner they were designed to to be successful so you can use them good and when your pneumatics aren't working it sucks so these broke down the other day i'm not going to go hand bang all this repair work i got to do i'm going to take a few minutes to repair this so being a successful profitable company being aware of your outflow instead of throwing these away when they break which can be hundreds of dollars and just going to the store and buying a new one just ask yourself well how quick can it be to fix well let me just show you first off have a little basic concept of what a pneumatic is there is a compressed portion of air via hose goes to your pneumatic gun and when you are ready you pull the trigger and push the cone down pop it fires the nail well, how does that magic work in here is a little area of compressed air. There's the valve. When you pull this and the cone hits the decking, the roof, it will allow the air to quickly come up into this portion of the gun via things, and I'll show you that here in a minute. It goes into this piston, which is removed, and phew, due to the surface area of the pistons being large versus the point of your nail being driven down by the plunger, that's the magic. Poof! Well, what happens to that compressed air that's evacuating that is still semi-compressed? When you pull off the deck and let off the trigger here, the compressed air here va evacuates down through this little shaft in here, and this secondary piston goes, pop, pops back, clicks up to the grab the next nail, and then poof, shoves it forwards and it's ready to fire. Pretty simple, not many moving parts. There's a valve and a piston, that's about it. The air does the rest of it. So now that you have a basic understanding what uh, is going on? Well, you got uh, this cleaned out. You pull it out, clean it up, inspect it, make sure there's a good O-ring on it. I usually spray it down with some good old WD-40 and a rag, wipe it up real good. Yes, that's probably not the best thing to use, but I follow it up with actual pneumatic oil by Matoba. Lubricate everything up so it's going to work good. Tip also, if you guys are throwing your air hoses off at the end of the day, one pet peeve of mine that drove me insane is when the guys would just throw them off with the male end down, <laughs> stick in the mud. Then they go to plug it in the next day, and that mud finds its way right up in here and eventually clogs this up and worse, gets into your piston, this housing here, and scarring it up, making it not work. So don't throw your air hoses off into the mud. The problem with this one is this right here. So when you have broken guns, pneumatics, don't just throw them away, buy a new one. You're going to be throwing out unnecessary money. This is literally a five-minute repair. 20 minutes to cross town to go buy a new one, 20 minutes back, the hundreds of dollars to buy it. Or five minutes, because every time I see somebody throw one away, or any time mine were just completely wore out, I would buy a new one and keep the parts. There's a rack in my garage up in the attic. I got probably 20 air nailers up there. And you find new parts. This one here, it's broke down. It's had other parts robbed off, off of it over the years. We have discovered this is the issue right here. When the piston is coming back up, it hits that and allows the air to go to the next part in the next process. Well, when it's busted like that, it can't channel it through the next port. And it just goes, pshhh. so we got to fix it. Literally, four bolts in this top and the four corners there. With an Allen wrench, you can do most any repair on this gun. Rob this one off of the other gun because it's in perfect shape. Nothing wrong with it. It's a little wore out. I'm just going to pop this whole new thing on because the gasket on here and this gasket inside are in still really good shape. Set this one off into a bin so I can either replace this later put this all back in it should work fine five ten minute repair plus this five minutes to shoot for you guys and i'm being in my opinion a smart business owner and not just throwing away money so yeah save your pneumatics actually can uh, come in handy it doesn't take up a lot of space so if you stick with boss stitch keep your boss stitches when you replace the boss stitch keep your boss stitches not a lot of parts. By the way, some of the other common parts to break are your feeder. When your pneumatics run fine, but your actual feeder doesn't go, like you're firing and the nail doesn't feed, it's typically this little bitty, bitty, bitty spring in here. Do I have that in view? Yeah. So that little spring right there, it's easy to get out by these two screws here, and there's a pin you remove and pull that spring out. You can find those on websites. You can find them on Amazon. I bought them from a company before. It was like $4, 5 bucks, including shipping. It was like, whew, simple. A little bag shows up in the mail. Throw it in within five minutes, and you're good to go. Your cones, 
if you're like me and you've used your cone you know to gauge your roofing over the years these wear down and then it can throw some crookedness into your your uh, finished product your roofing not good take a few minutes why is my phone jittery hopefully it's still going yes it is sorry for that all you got to do when these wear out you can either buy a new one and put them on they're not hard to do but they're like 60 to 80 dollars so what i started doing somebody told me hey got a problem find a solution do i want to buy a new one and do all that hell no i'm just gonna get my welder out and just mig weld or tig weld or whatever welder you got just weld some material up here take an angle grinder and grind this side and grind this side so you have a nice little 90 degree point and you're back in business thinking smart so and eventually i'm going to get to a point where i gotta step back and have people manage and do what i am doing now but this is what i gotta to do to grow this so and i want to do this and share this with you so anyway a few extra minutes Hopefully it helps you guys. Be smart. Keep your stuff. I've still got a handful of other parts on here I can salvage from, so I got many, many, many years without buying pneumatics. Hopefully the video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video tonight. You're watching this hopefully Saturday. Until next time, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.